recent pandemic and the courageous work done by our brave frontline workers, the Young Canuck Storian Project looks to celebrate some of the outstanding community leaders from the past who have gone above and beyond the call for their Lambton, our home. During the First World War, scrap drives became very important. The scraps were used to help with the war effort. Waste paper, old rags, scrap metal, and old rubber were useful in the war. Lambton County women successfully aided the soldiers at war with these scrap drives. It was during this time that seven women from Sarnia met and would change the face of the art world forever. One of those members would especially leave at the lasting impact, Sadie Knowles. Summer in Sarnia was particularly beautiful in 1914. The ships were streaming up the St. Clair. Families and farmers were busying themselves after a cold winter when life would completely change on May 7, 1914. Canada was suddenly at war. Men and boys were signing up to fight in the war, while women were making hospital supplies and taking jobs in munition factories. Everything was pushed aside in order to win the war and save our town. Committees formed, including one that collected rags and scrap paper to sell to recyclers and raise money for the Red Cross. The work was hard, tiring, and dirty, but the committee raised $4,800 for the Red Cross by the war's end. At that point, seven of the women from the Conservation Committee teamed up with Norman Gerd, a member of the Starnia Library Board, to collect art for the public art gallery they hoped to see opened in the city someday. The Starnia Women's Conservation Art Association had its first show in 1920, included paintings by Tom Thompson and future members of the Group of Seven. The Sarnia Association members were fans and supporters of the groundbreaking artists before many Canadian art critics and collectors were. You today cannot imagine the gratitude of the painters. The art critics in Toronto and Montreal were ridiculing these men and their works. In 1953, remaining members of the Associated donated a collection of approximately 25 pieces of Canadian art to the Sarnia Library, where the collection continued to grow. Sadie, a children's librarian at Sarnia Library for over 40 years, was the last surviving member of the group before passing away in 1984. Sadie Knowles' love of community and the art world will be forever remembered in Lambton County. The story of Sadie Knowles wouldn't be complete if we didn't talk about her outstanding career with the Sarnia Public Library, which started in 1922. In her early days, she was trained in Toronto and trained under an innovative librarian at the famous Boys and Girls House. She brought these concepts with her to Sarnia, including her own idea of Story Hour. Story Hour was not reading from a book, but rather an imagination exercise for the kids. Sadie gave herself to her work, and she loved her kids. She never tired of trying to interest yet one more child in an intriguing book. As a result of this dedication, she served with the Ontario and Canadian Library Association and was known throughout Canada as an outstanding children's librarian. The Quota Club of Sarnia named her Woman of the Year in 1955, and she received the Canadian Centennial Medal in 1967. In 1982, Mayor Marcel Sadi declared a Sadie Knowles Day, where she was honored by the community. The day it was held, it was her birthday. <laughs>